Carlin is with us tonight. He's uh, probably one of the most inventive comedians working today. And uh, his current uh, album is called Occupation Fool, uh, which is probably going to do what his first two albums did, win him another gold record. Would you welcome George Carlin? Thank you. How are you? Nice to see you. I wore my... Got a little shot of Herman Goring, the park patrolman, state of New York. <laughs> Would you take any kind of a job when things are weird? <laughs> Everybody okay? How about the band? How do you like that, fellas? <laughs> hey? Those of you who read music know what that is. That's a rest, and this means hold indefinitely. <laughs> so well, they won't be playing for a while. I've been resting, been taking a little time off. That's why I forget what I do. I come over here to find out, more or less. I have my Nixon impression finally down pat. I've been doing it really for a long time. It's not an impression. I wouldn't presume on David Fry's area, but the face. <laughs> now, you can do your own Nixon at home. A lot of ways. One of them is the way you get the nose to flatten out. Now, I want you to get this profile. <laughs> get a real Nixon slope in there. Nixon, uh, Nixon it uh, seems, everybody's copping out and getting immunity. Nixon may himself testify and get immunity and turn in the people really at the top. <laughs> no, but it is getting a little strange. I, I expect by the time it's all wound up, he'll be held for something like interfering with firemen and uh, seven counts of failure to move along. <laughs> a lot of things bother me. Little things, I have kind of a scattergun bunch of things for you tonight. I've been concerned about ghosts. Now the word ghost, of course, is, is the kind of thing, do you believe in? But when you say spirits, People don't feel that way. We know that there's some spiritual life. There's something extra. There's a supernatural. But I'm not going to really believe in ghosts. I mean, we've had haunted houses for years. When they start having haunted campers and haunted mobile homes, then I'll know for sure. <laughs> a haunted condominium would make it. Do you ever notice that frozen peas are all the same size? It's far out. <laughs> I noticed another thing on those matchbooks that say, be a lawyer at home. It also says, please do not mail the matches. I think a potential lawyer might know that. People who practice the discus throw have to practice alone and go and get it themselves. Hand the neck. Being off the airlines has been fun. You notice I'm just kind of doing a bunch of things because I want to get to the news. It is important. Uh, the airlines are strange. They search you with uh, magnetometers and every kind of device there is. Make sure you're not carrying a weapon. And you get on board, they give you a knife and a fork and all the wine you can drink. <laughs> It would be nice to be a king, wouldn't it? Kings never have to say, hey, wait up. <laughs> football players, there's been a lot of scandal and expose over the last few years about the drugs that football players take, not just Novocaine for pain or steroids or anything, but uh, uppers, amphetamines, uh, greenies, hey, for the green, <sighs> that number. Um, I think they need some new football penalties to take care of all the speed the football players are doing. How about uh, too many men on the field? Unnecessary upness? <laughs> Actually, you have holding penalties all the time. <laughs> Illegal receiver. <laughs> Everyone talking in the huddle. <laughs> Failure to calm down after a big play. <laughs> and the metric system will be here soon and your wife will be going out and scoring a kilo of hamburger. It'd be fun. Imagine sitting home, cleaning the hamburger, roll one, clean one, smoke one, eat one, you know. You might not have much money, go for a little bologna, something like that. Hey, give me a gram of ham. Yeah. A nickel bag of giblets. <laughs> Don't get the meatloaf. Somebody stepped on it, man. It's got pork in it. I'd like to get to the news. It is important, and uh, I have a few stories which have come in. Good evening, all the news all the time. This is Mike Dale at the editor's desk, going through the editor's personal papers. <laughs> Here are the headlines, seven people stabbed to death at decency rally. <laughs> Elderly couple run over by health food truck and minister raped at Hells Angels wedding. <laughs> Legendary silent film star, Mike, uh, rather Mark Dunbar died today. He had no last words. However, he did make several gestures. <laughs> The San Diego freeway was the scene of a freak accident today when six freaks in a camper crashed into three freaks in a van. <laughs> the 
The Nobel Prize in Mathematics has been awarded to a California professor who has discovered a new number. <laughs> the number is Bleen, which he claims belongs between six and seven. <laughs> Medical researchers have discovered a new disease which has no symptoms. <laughs> it is... Uh, it's impossible to detect, and there are no known cures at the time. Fortunately, it is confined to New Jersey. <laughs> a Philadelphia man was arrested today while attempting to make an unauthorized deposit in a sperm bank. Check that out. <laughs> Hollywood film star Vicki Trick and, and her husband, Mark Spott, called it quits today after a disappointing 27-minute honeymoon in front of the church. <laughs> in Cleveland today, 27 people suffered 12 hours of continuous whiplash when a roller coaster was hijacked by a man claiming to be the devil. <laughs> and the Supreme Court has reversed a lower court ruling which had upheld an earlier decision by a circuit court judge allowing an injunction which would restrain a defendant from contesting a court order forcing him to show cause why he should not be enjoined from initiating a lawsuit. <laughs> All of those involved have been taken to the New Jersey State Hospital for the indifferent. <laughs> well, that's it from the uh, news right now. Just one word about the weather. Al? Hey, what's happening? Cape Pasta uh, tomorrow. Clouds will be moving from left to right. So long, man. So long, Tom. Hey, man. Yeah, there you go. Usual crazy audience. Yeah. Very good. It's almost become a, uh, a thing around the country now. Hey, que pasa? What do you, you know, say? it's become yeah. a identification thing. Good to see you again. Good to be out. Good to be out. Really, I've been home about four months. Yeah, I know. You haven't been uh, resting. Been working. Eternal rest. And uh, you have to just kind of get away once in a while and let the I brain kind of brain I found it out. Took 13 years in the business to find out I needed four months off. No. Because you do get a little manic out there and you have to get under the rug for a while. I feel good. I'm going out again, going to Hawaii. And you pretty much stay home when you... Yeah, I'm a loner. I'm kind of like you. A lot of the things yeah. I hear you say, you know, the things you're into, like astronomy is a loner's gig. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel that this is such a public life, and it's so one-sided, that once you're off, you want to just hide and balance it right. You know, you got to yeah. have ups and downs. Yeah, I love the things you pick up on, like the matchbook folders, uh, yeah. which always intrigued me. The one that I've always wanted to send away for was learn meat cutting at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That one really intrigues me. What do you get? Well, I think Does you get a, a big knife carcass show up, or, you know? Uh... In case you don't get with the meat cutting, you throw knives a while. Yunko! <laughs> My wife and I went for an insurance physical about a month ago, and right after that we went to a bookstore, and it just happens I bought a book on knife throwing right after the insurance physical. She didn't... Knife throwing? I should have left that home, too, but that was true. The true ones never work. True stuff stinks, folks. Make it up. <laughs> Color a little bit. Right. Enlarge upon the truth. Uh, ozite and Herculon, a fiber, uh, suggest using your imagination with indoor, outdoor carpet.